Hello and welcome again to investingsuccess.ca and another of our short educational videos on esoteric math and astrology. In this video we're going to take a look at gold. What you see in front of you uh, on your screen is the December 2013 futures chart for gold and it's a daily chart. Uh, the chart starts um, a year ago back in late September of 2012 and it brings you right up till the present time. October 5th of 2012 was a critical turning point for gold. It reached an intraday high on the December futures of $1,810 an ounce, but it closed at $1,777 on that day. I'm going to pick $1,777 as my starting point for the application of some square root mathematics on the square of 9. If I run through a number of iterations on, on the square root mathematics, I can determine where gold should encounter some levels of support. But let me cut right to the chase. Let me bring you right up to uh, June 27th of 2013. Gold made a significant low. The square root mathematics suggested that uh, 1218 would be some potential support. In fact, we had a close on uh, June 27th of 1213. So the actual close was within $5 of what was predicted by the square root mathematics. Now, let's use 1213, the actual close on June 27. That's our starting point for another round of iterations on square root math. Let's see what square root math says about possible uh, overhead resistance. Um, you can see that uh, August 29th, just a couple weeks ago, square root mathematics predicted a, a $1,412 would be a critical level. We, in fact, closed that day at uh, 1413, so bang on. So now, um, using that uh, 1413 um, actual close, we can apply square root mathematics, and we are seeing that uh, 1302, 1284, 1266, these are numbers that could very soon come into play as levels of support because gold is trending down right at the moment. So don't step in front of this thing just yet. There's some potentially lower prices coming here very shortly and uh, there's going to be a very good buying opportunity uh, presented to us all here quickly. Now, this is the chart uh, that we've just looked at, absent all of the square root mathematics. This is showing you how we apply some basic astrology. The purple arrows on the chart are those times when Sun and Pluto made a hard aspect with each other. And when I say a hard aspect, I'm talking Sun and Pluto being zero degrees conjunct, uh, 90 degrees square or 180 degrees opposite and you can pick out these dates from your ephemeris or from uh, um, any sort of a software program that you're running to uh, look at astrology I want you to notice that these purple arrows these Sun Pluto hard aspects tend to align quite well with turning points on the price of gold somehow Sun and Pluto being at hard aspects trigger human emotion and uh, that human emotion is what drives the, uh, the markets and drives our desires to buy and sell gold. Also, on this chart, you'll see some yellow boxes. Those are the times when Mercury is retrograde. And I want you to notice something. At each of those yellow boxes, what happens? Gold exhibits a very short counter-trend rally. Very interesting. So now, We've got some interesting stuff coming at us here. The first week of October is going to give us another of these Sun-Pluto hard aspects. October 21st is going to give us a Mercury retrograde event for a couple weeks. You've got your technical indicators, uh, and I've shown a couple of them here that I use. Your Commodity Channel Index, negative. Uh, the short-term trend is definitely down. Nine-period DMI, very much to the downside. So. As I say, don't step in front of this thing. We've got some lower prices potentially coming here in the very, very short term. But look for a turning point um, towards the end of September as we as we head into this Sun-Pluto hard aspect. And then don't forget about the Mercury retrograde coming October 21. Um, people are, are starting to question, you know, is gold ever going to go back to its highs? Well, we've got a turning point coming, and I think we've got some good trading opportunities just around the corner. Let's uh, see what happens. And it's exactly stuff like this that I uh, write about every week to my subscribers who sign up for my astrology e-alert. Um, Ten bucks a month, you know, minimally priced, uh, not a lot of pain, but it's very educational stuff, and it uh, it will steer you down the road of financial astrology and 
and uh, hopefully you can use financial astrology as an additional tool, much like you would use uh, moving averages or DMIs or technical indicators. Very powerful stuff. So as always, you can find me at investingsuccess.ca. Uh, please be sure to take a look at my periodic bloggings on uh, astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com. And as I say, uh, give some thought to taking out a subscription for the astrology e-alert and start getting my my uh, uh, astrology indications uh, in advance so that you can uh, be prepared and uh, be ready to do some trading. Thanks for watching and have a great day and good trading.